my friend. Uh, he's a little nervous, he's a little skittish, uh, he doesn't like loud noises, he doesn't really like sudden movements, he doesn't like to be touched too often. Um, so today we're just going to be working on some confidence building and uh, first we're going to start with just putting the leash on him, uh, having him come to me when called. He's very, very skittish about that. He kind of draws back and I figure that's just because that's worked for him in the past. So we're going to get that out of him. We're going to work through some very, very hard tasks for him, but it's going to be so awesome for him and rewarding in the end. So let's see if we can go. Just going to throw out some food for him. Try to see if he'll take that food, and if he doesn't take the food, that's okay because it's still a little bit closer to me, and I can hook this onto him. I'm not really worried about getting his confidence up right now with the leash because my whole goal right now is to actually get the leash on him so I can control the training for the rest of the day. I mean, this is a 16 foot. This is perfect because it's a uh, retractable. You can extend it. You can. Uh, bring it back a little bit down the size and it doesn't really matter uh, where you're at because this works great indoors as well as outdoors and it's perfect for training I always would say. Welcome. Yes, good boy. Good boy. He'll come to me and he's still not taking the food but that's okay because if he doesn't want the food we're not going to force it. Go. Welcome. He wasn't doing that at all. It's awesome to see that he's already starting. He's like, okay, um, if as long as you're not gonna hurt me, then I'm gonna come. Bo, please. Oh, okay. Bo, please. Lightly giving him a little tug so let him know this is the direction he needs to go. And it's okay because he's not going. But that's okay because we're just going to keep on going around. Come. Come. So we're going to give him some time because we're not hurting him. There's no real, he's doing all the pulling and that's okay because Usually in walking, if you were trying to do leash tension and leash learning or leash training, then tension control is what we need to be worried about. But right now, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm trying to get him to come here. So I'm speaking with his mom, a history of neglect. So we're not really sure what happened to him before he was found. Uh, so we're, whatever happened, we're not doing it. We're trying to do uh, positive reinforcements with human interaction as much as possible. So I'm going to try it again. Bo, come. Yes, good boy. Bo, sit. Yes, good boy. You don't want to praise them until they're at that level of where you want them to be. Because if you praise them when he's all the way out here and you're telling him to come, then anytime he wants to, you want him to come over, he's going to go right there. You want him to be this close, just in case you want to put the leash on, if you want, you need to grab him real quick, or whatever the situation. Good. Okay. I'm going to loosen up the leash a little bit for him, give him a little bit more distance, see how awesome he will be. Boat come. Look at that. Look at that. Sit. Good job. And I think he was going into a sit, so we're going to make sure he does it on command. That's just like when you send your kid out to school and they don't want to leave their parent the first day. Sit. Good job. They don't want to leave their parent the first day because they're like, oh my gosh, all these kids, all these people, I don't know them. Uh, same thing for a dog. So if they're not confident or not comfortable with the situation, you don't want to say, oh, well, that's fine. You don't have to do the situation. Well, if we did that with our kids, then chances are they would never go to school. They would never learn. They would never grow to be well-rounded adults. We're trying to make well-rounded, happy dogs here. Now, place it and work on the couch. I have a bed here that will work. Mocha. Good job. Sit. Good 
job, buddy. Good job. Go. Play. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Good play. Go. Sit. Go. Play. Yes. Sit. Good boy. We're going to see if we can get him to go on the arc because the arc is a step up from the couch. And if we can get him to do that on command, we might have some more success with the couch on command. Place. Yes, good boy. Yes. Yes, good boy. I gave him praise just for touching it. Just like that, he's able to do it on his own. 